So what you're seeing here, these are the, uh, the Qualcomm reference design tablets. So they are powered by the Qualcomm AX30 power chip uh, families. The one on the top is actually powered by the, uh, the A230 uh, chipset processor family. And uh, so this is a UMTS version with a very similar design. If you were to pop in into an A030 chip, you want to make it a Wi-Fi, not connected. Or you can put it into an 8930 chip and make it LT enabled. So this particular tablet here, you would see it's a um, IPS screen, very high resolution. And uh, also they would also support the uh, uh, connected SIM slot. You would have the micro SD, expanded memory, standard audio jack. In the back, you would see the supports to have the uh, the high resolution camera, but also with a similar design and also nearly a lot of reuse of the software, you can also work on reuse it to make it a seven inch lower resolution display and to make it a seven inch tablet. So for any OEMs, you'll be able to adopt to the reference design platform and make it popular into different price segment or different tier and position of the product. And both of them also supports the HDMI output and the USB charging. So one thing about we explained about the Qualcomm reference design is the reference design is a new way of working. It's as if Qualcomm will complete 80, 85% of the work in terms of software, and whereas the OEMs can really start focusing on the differentiating piece. So in this particular case, they would be focusing on the software differentiation, the different sort of camera they would like to pick, so particularly for the cost conscious customer, they may pick a maybe a tier two or tier three kind of a less expensive camera sensor. And for the tier one customers, they may be picking out a very high quality camera. So with this kind of enablement that OEMs are able to make products based on different price positioning and based on their needs and their customers need. So we also work together through QRMD to work with the different hardware component vendors to develop the drivers, to validate it on this particular platform. We also work with the software vendors to making sure the software technology is based on, you know, being optimized and validated on the platform. And at the same time, we provide the, the tooling and as well as the production tool and as well as the documentation. So this is really a, a reference design kind of way of working as a total solution to the OEM community, as well as all the ecosystem partners.